guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to be sharing my beauty and a little bit of style fashion haul of the things i have been buying in the past few weeks so everything as far as makeup is cruelty free and vegan which i always get asked what do i buy or what brands i buy as a vegan so well here it is you're going to see it in this video to give you plenty of ideas on different items so I don't want to make this video too long, so without talking anymore, let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to start with the things I got from Amazon. And one of those first things is this henna, which is in color black. I've been meaning to get my color really dark, really black. And so I read the reviews on this brand and it seemed like it's a good product. I've never tried henna before. It's going to be my first time. And if I'm not mistaken, it's in powder form. So I'm really excited about that. I'm a little bit nervous about changing my hair color. It's been so long since I haven't changed my natural hair color. But it's cruelty free and it's natural. It doesn't have all those chemicals like conventional hair dyes. So I'm excited to be testing this out probably in the coming week. I cannot wait. The next purchase I made is this vegan deodorant i always have a hard time saying that deodorant oh well okay so i got the rose and vanilla and the reason is because i love everything rose i have rose perfume i like to apply rose water to my face my hair and so it just made sense to combine the same scent in different beauty products that i use so i'm not smelling different like a tutti frutti candy and that way i can smell just the same all over my body <laughs> so i got this one in rose vanilla but i also wanted to try the coconut and pineapple i remember a few years ago at starbucks they had a croissant with coconut and pineapple it was the best i don't think they make it anymore but Getting back to the point, this is the one that I have been using for the past few weeks and I really love the scent. It's perfect and it has a lot of reviews on Amazon. The only downside for me is that I cannot slide it under my arm like a regular conventional deodorant because this one, it just won't slide as a normal one. Like it disintegrates too fast. So what I have been doing when I apply it, I kind of like press it on and in different areas and that's how I'm making it work. But other than that, to me, it lasts the whole day and it smells so good. I really have been liking it. Another buy is this black eyeliner from Pacifica. I haven't tried their eyeliner. I have tried other products from this brand, but I like this one because it's 100% vegan and cruelty free and they have different colors. They also had brown, but I wanted black because it's the color that I use the most often. And so I also love the packaging. I love the gold tones they use and the swirls and the pattern. It's just so beautiful. I really like Pacifica for being so creative with their packaging. It's also great because it's marked as waterproof and long wear and it's a rich mineral color. So I cannot wait to use this. I always like getting eco-friendly options and that's what I did with my toothbrushes. So it came in this box, it comes four and this is how it looks like. And so what I really love, one, it's bamboo. So it's so eco-friendly. It's a great way to help planet earth. And the other thing, if you can tell the bristles are black. So it's infused with charcoal which helps to get white teeth. So I really like that. It's vegan friendly, it's antibacterial, it's 100% biodegradable, so that is amazing. And so if you get four in a box and you're gonna use it with your whole family, I like that each toothbrush comes with a number and that way you don't get confused who is using which one. So, so far, I'm using number three and I believe I gave little Lynn number two and the bristles are not too soft. It's not too hard. So it's in the middle. Okay, this is something I got for my sister. This was on Mother's Day and she gave it to me as a gift. She sent it all the way from Washington, but I'm guessing this is something she got from Amazon. And basically it's a clay soap bar. It's from the brand Herbivore, which I haven't tried before, but on the back it has the bunny logo. You can see it there. 
I hope you can see it. But basically, this is a soap to take out impurities from your skin. So you can use this on your face, on your body. I'm going to take it out to see how it is. Hmm. And the smell, I'm not too sure about how to describe the smell. It's more like clay. So I'm going to be using this on my face and see how it works out. But from the ingredients, I can tell that it has coconut oil, olive, fruit oil, vitamin E, sustainable palm oil. I like that it mentions that. White clay, French pink clay, blood orange essential oil so as you can tell it is natural so i really like that i cannot wait to start using this the next item is this new foundation that i got from nyx and this is something that i got when i was at dayland mall here in miami and so i like that the person that was working there she helped me out pick out a vegan item because the whole line is cruelty free but not every item is vegan so she took out a binder and it had a whole list of the items that are vegan so she double checked for me and this was one of their vegan options so this is the liquid foundation it's not like the cream consistency the way you apply it it comes with a dropper and that's how you get full coverage and it's a matte finish so I like that she put a little bit on my skin just to make sure it was the right shade for my skin tone. And so I ended up getting this and it seems like it's going to be a great product. So I cannot wait to start using it. Okay, next I got this from CVS and I've been getting these nails. After I sent them an email and I made sure these were a vegan option and they are. So I got two. I got them in pink and in blue so the ones i have right now are the pink ones i was so upset that the quality was so bad it was so awful like because last time i tried another design of this same brand and they lasted me like for two weeks and nothing happened to them they look super good but this one just after applying them they started breaking chipping and i'm gonna add some pictures and so by the next day, they look so terrible. So I'm really surprised that these were not good quality. And so I'm not sure how the blue ones are going to turn out if I'm going to have the same problem. Hopefully not because they are so pretty. I got these because as you can tell, the ones on the top are in matte finish and then the ones on the bottom kind of like a foil design and then this one the ones on the top are glossy and then the ones on the bottom have a different design that you put on the ring finger hopefully this one works out but so far the pink ones that i have right now are not good quality so that's really downside for me okay the next thing is kind of like my sister reading my mind because I was looking for something like this and she mentioned this a couple of days after and basically what it is is this healthy blend of flax, chia, and hemp seeds. So that is so awesome for me because most of these mixtures they come with two seeds the one that i'm using right now only comes with two but i wanted something that comes with the three of them and so this one is in coconut flavor and it's such a big bag as you can tell i had gone to whole foods but their bags are smaller and like you said it only comes with two seed blends but this one it comes with the three of them and it's a great option for cereal your smoothie yogurt pancakes dessert for so many things and so this is what i love to add whenever i make a smoothie in the morning and little lynn drinks it and i drink a smoothie in the morning to start my day i love starting my days with a smoothie but the main reason why i wanted something like this is because we don't eat fish as a vegan and then lynn doesn't like fish and so it's a great way to get the omegas into your system to your body and it's a great alternative without eating fish and mercury and all the other things they have to worry if you're eating seafood so i think it's a great option for everyone and i had to get it this was from amazon by the way okay this section is going to be style and fashion the 
recent things that I have been able to find. Okay, so the first store is Marshalls and I only have two items from there, but they were things that I really liked. Okay, the first thing that I bought is this purse. Isn't it so pretty? I have been looking for something like this for so long and I finally found something that is black and gold and I wanted the straps to have kind of like a chain, kind of like a necklace sort of look. And I really like this one for the color, the design, but also because I like that on the strap, you are able to adjust it. Most of the purses that are this style, you cannot adjust the straps, but because I'm petite, I'm short, I wanted something that I can adjust to my body height. So this was perfect and on the inside, it has all these compartments and it has a zipper pocket and has another pocket here, one in the top. And so I thought it was really cute, really basic to have for many outfits. And it's by the brand Max Studio, so original price. And it has the original tag here for $59, but at Marshalls, I found it at $17. I like rounding my prices so this was $17 at Marshall so yes I had to get it the other thing again from Marshall's is this bathing suit and it's by the brand Calvin Klein and so I like that it's a one piece but it's a modern so I like that it has a different feel to it I like that it's white I love wearing white and I like the design here on the front of the bathing suit i also like that you can wear it in different ways so the conventional way you can crisscross it on the front section or at the back it says you can wear it four ways but i don't know what would be the fourth way um original price was 128 dollars and I only found it for $30, so that's amazing to me. I also like that the straps are adjustable, so I really like that. And so I cannot wait to start wearing this when I go to the pool in our backyard or when we go to the beach. Okay, and the last few items are from the store Target. This is actually, I don't know if it would be my first time buying from Target. I think it is. I don't tend to buy clothes in Target, so I think it might be my first time if I'm not mistaken. One of the first things that I really liked is this top. I love, love the gradient effect from like bright color to middle and then white. I love it. And I also like that it's off the shoulder, so it's really different from what I have. And basically, I'm trying to buy more color because I feel like most of my colors or the clothes that I wear. When I go out, it's more neutral. I'm always wearing kind of like black, white, gray, which I know in my videos I have color, but most of the time when I do go out, it's just like basic color. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to find something different and I found this one and it's super cute. And I can picture myself wearing this with white pants or shorts and with nude heels. It would look super cute, so I cannot wait to get nude heels because what I have in mind, I haven't been able to find. And most options at Nordstrom or Macy's, they all have leather. I'm trying to find something that is full leather and I found something on Nordstrom. It's not exactly what I have in mind, but it's kind of similar to what I wanna get, so. I'm still kind of deciding if I'm going to get it. I'm going to share with you guys in case you guys like it. But it's not the super long heel. It's the middle length heel. It's full leather. It's pinkish. So it combines with a lot of outfits. And it also comes with the back protective material. So it won't hurt your, your feet whenever you're walking. Okay, the other item from Target is this basic top. Again, a pop of color and it's this dark yellow and you can see it's kind of loose and then on the back it crosses like that so again this is really different from what i have and so i can see myself wearing this now in the summer again with white pants white pants combines with so many things i can see myself wearing this with white shorts white pants and the last item again from target is this floral top that i found it's loose 
and it has buttons it has a small pocket and this one to be honest made me think of my sister because my sister loves floral patterns whereas me i hate floral patterns i used to tell her i would tease my sister that it looked so horrible and that she always looked like she was wearing granny clothes <laughs> so i feel so bad about that but again trying to go out of my comfort zone and try new things i went to the fitting room i tried it i do like the fit so let's see how it goes <laughs> I can see myself wearing light colored blue jeans and again with heels, either black heels or kind of like a pinkish nude heel with this top and it will look super nice. So I like that it's flowy and has a ribbon. So that's it for this haul video. I hope you guys liked it. Everything that I mentioned, it's going to be in the description box in case you guys want to check it out and go buy it. And I hope it kind of gives you an idea on some of the things I would get having a vegan lifestyle. So often I get asked, what would you buy or what do you recommend? So these are some of the items I would recommend or brands that I would recommend as far as vegan beauty goes. Let me know what was your favorite item or if you have any other ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kisses! Bye!